10 to the hour every hour right here on MTV. You would like to ask us questions that we would like to answer, Drew. The love line is 213-520-LOVE. Call us here, participate on love line. We'll use your calls on the air. 213-520-LOVE. All right, back with Megan Ward from Woo! Dark Skies, NBC, Saturdays, 8 p.m. And when we left off here on Love Line, we're speaking to uh, Jessica. What was her problem, Drew? She was afraid of the toys that they were... Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, how could I forget? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jessica, think about it this way. If there really were a liability mm -hmm. caused by these toys, they right. wouldn't exist. These companies would be sued out of existence. I mean, yeah. if anything affected people's fertility, it yeah, wouldn't be able be to... Yeah, that would be my question. Yeah, it wouldn't be able to be sold. Uh, right. I can't think... They certainly can affect the sensitivity of your sexual arousal, potentially, right. but I don't know of any, any effect it would necessarily have on your reproductive system and fertility. The thing you really need to watch out for, obviously, is infection, okay? Right. If you have a sexually transmitted disease or you have a discharge, if you have any pelvic pain, these things need to be evaluated immediately, but there's nothing right. about the sex toy itself that's going right. to predispose to that sort of thing. Well, what about the lotions? If you were to use the lotions, can you get infections and You can that? get urinary tract infections and anything that disturbs the, the usual environment of the right. vagina. The, and antibiotics, right. sometimes a condom, sometimes a new partner. They, they can cause bacteria to overgrow that create an infection. Okay. Those vaginal infections usually are not particularly sexually transmissible and are not associated with any more significant infections that could affect oh. the higher areas of your genital tract and create fertility what problems. What kind of lotion? Um... Well, a lot of the ones you put on your body and you blow on them and it's supposed to get real hot. And, you know, guys seem to like to pour it all over the body. And I'm just afraid if it goes in the wrong area, you know, I don't want to have an infection, which can possibly... Look, you, can, you can burn yourself and you can create a urinary tract infection, but what I don't... What about some sort of uh, sexual masking? Like, uh, you know, when you paint the window or something, you run a little masking <laughs> tape, some newspaper. You cover up the areas that could be damaged before the... Okay. I apologize no. for my partner. Okay. Jessica, I think you get the idea. Yeah, I don't go for all this nonsense. Sex is good enough. Believe me, I'm happy to have the sex. I don't need to be uh, having to feel stuff evaporate from me. I don't need to be trying to gnaw through some uh, panties that uh, taste like, uh, you know, wild honey or any of this nonsense. I like the sex. You with me, boy? All right, thanks, Jessica. This now is Skylar. Skylar, what can we do for you? Hi, I have huge breasts. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, Drew. <laughs> what? Which my ex-boyfriend liked. But since we broke up, he keeps telling me that my nipples never got hard and erect. He said that other girls' nipples got hard when he had sex with them. And I never thought I was different, but is this some kind of medical problem? No, Scott, it's not a medical problem. It's not uncommon for women with your situation to have that. It's also not uncommon for women with the larger breasts to have decreased sensitivity. Mm. It's just you. It's, and don't make him feel bad and, and demeaned. I mean, I don't no, know why no, he's, he's coming. trying to make yeah, her. Why, yeah, why is he making her feel bad? It's yeah, ridiculous. he's just trying to get back at her. Yeah, he's, 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 he's trying to hurt her feelings. Right. Don't right. listen to him. Don't let him do that, all right? Okay. Thanks, Scott. All right. Thanks. Megan Ward, Dark Skies, mm. NBC, Saturday nights, 8 o'clock. Also, Joe's apartment out on video. Look for it, look for her. Chris McGaha, thank you very much. And until next time, this is Adam Carolla for Dr. Drew saying mahalo. Introducing DuraSteel by Armatron. Steel cases, bracelets, superb quality and outstanding value. The toughest and best looking watch. Armatron DuraSteel, a state of mind and body. Aroma Vera's aromatic gift crates. Indulge in the pure enjoyment of essential oil-based personal care products designed to enhance the beauty of daily life. From aroma
one we're doing. 